I am definitely one of those people who looks at you and is like, you're so confident. I wish I was that confident. And when I talk to people like you and, you know, when I had like Carla Lane on and <clears throat> I mean, I just like the idea of being able to get to a place where you love your body as it is, is like just this, it's, it's like, I can't decide if I want to like, I mean, I know what I should, but like internally, I can't decide if that's the goal I should go for, or if I should try to lose these last 10 pounds. It's mm -hmm. like, you know what I mean? And it's just, you know, as, as a woman who grew up in the industry where like, I mean, especially when I started shooting porn, you know, in 1999 or early or like 2000, like it was like skinny girls, big, fake tits, like, mm -hmm. you know, bigger women were never where we, we would never shoot them. We would never book them. There was like no place in like the little glamor niche that I worked in. So I think that very much conditioned me. And, you know, now that I'm older and I've had a child um, and my body has changed, it's like that struggle to accept myself as I am has been really hard. And so mm -hmm. I have to, I will say like, personally, I'm, I very much admire you um, for being able to just like, I mean, I feel like that's what we all want in the end, right? We just want to love ourselves, mm -hmm. but it's like, how do we get there? Yeah. Do we accept ourselves for who we are? And we, and we, you know, like you said, unlearn everything that's been taught to us about like what we're supposed to look like, or do we, you know, go to the gym every single day and eat nothing until we get to this like tiny size that, you know, we mm -hmm. think is going to make us happy. And then of yeah. course, like when you get to that size, are you happy? No, no, <laughs> no. I, no, you're I, not. <laughs> I think there's like a world where you can kind of like in terms of like the what you're saying like do I love myself or do I like lose 10 pounds I think there's a world where those things can like exist I don't think it's necessarily like oh like just because like I think you can still you can still change your body depending on whatever you'd like to but like also know why you're doing that and like like if you have a goal for yourself whether that be like you want to change your nose or you want to get a boob job or whatever. Like I think people should absolutely be able to do those things. There's changes about my body that I'd love to make, but it's like kind of unpacking why first, um, mm -hmm. because like if it's directly related to like, I hate this about me, like let's change it. Maybe just like take it back a little bit and like really, really look at that. Um, before you make any changes um, but although I'm at the same like I I agree that if you really really hate something about yourself like and you want to change it you should be allowed to I don't think anybody can tell anybody what they should and shouldn't change because it's like again we only have like this is like this is my vessel for my lifetime like this is this body is carrying me through life right now um, I should like be able to do whatever I'd like with it but at the same time I should allow myself the grace of just being who I am and being okay with myself, like where I am right now, whether that be a change I want to make, or if I'm feeling good, like this body is carrying me through and like, it's all I got. So I better treat it with respect and, um, and with love. Yeah. No, but you bring up a good point about, you know, if there are things about yourself that you want to change, you should feel entitled to make those decisions, but, but you're right to unpack and look at like, why is it like, you know, is it like your boyfriend or your husband mm -hmm. that's making you feel that way? And because he's telling you that you feel like you need to change this for him. Is it for, you know, this, this job that you want or work, or is it for you? And it's like, that's, that's the hard thing, right. Is to really kind of uncover all of those layers and figure out like, what's your real motivation behind that. And yeah. I think that's, that's one of the hardest things to do. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. And I think um, like being in this industry is really interesting just because like when I'm scrolling on Twitter, you're seeing like so many different, like you're seeing like, bo like bodies, you see like you're, oh, I'm almost overexposed. I'm sure everybody in this, like in this industry is overexposed to um, different bodies, which is good in some ways, but then in other ways, typically, you know, algorithmically you're fed the bodies that like are, you know, conventionally attractive and fit like, you know, a certain, um, you know, certain boxes. Uh, so for me, like, it's like, uh, I tell this to my friends and sometimes they're like, what are you talking about? But I'm like, my perception of, of my boobs specifically, I'm like, and I've got pretty big boobs, 
I think my boobs are small in comparison to the industry because I'm so overexposed to like people who have like really big boobs and yeah. that's ridiculous. But and, like some of my friends like literally look at me and they're like, like, they're like, so I'm like, you know what? If I had the option, I would have bigger tits because I just really love big tits um, on myself and on other people. Um, but people are like, how? they're like, I don't get what you mean by that. And I'm like, well, like you're also not looking on Twitter every day with these people who are like, have these like massive, massive titties. Um, yeah. So it's, it's very interesting how that kind of like, uh, that's changed my perception in that way. Mm -hmm.